Hi, this is Nathan, your neighbor at Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. We're on location at Rec Bar A12 in Southern Indiana today, reviewing Mr. and Mrs. Pac-Man Pinball by Bally Pinball. Anyway, please look for a review underneath the description of the video below. Beyond that, let's go ahead and get our review underway, shall we? First things first, who doesn't like Pac-Man, for God's sake? This is a highly underrated game. I've actually been trying to find a Pac-Man to play for over a year now. And as you can tell from the setup here, it is an older table, solid state, three flipper setup. Flipper gap is not too bad. Traditional end lane to the left, exit lane to the left. You have a non-traditional end lane to the right, exit lane to the right. From the play field, you can see that there are center targets to the middle, which are drop targets to target, pop bumpers to the back, third flipper top right. Obviously, off the plunger, you come up, you have a skill shot to the middle with a kick out. You have some more targets up to the top. And beyond that, you have a lane that goes around the left side of the table, which goes up and back to the, the pop bumpers to the back. So as you can see, time to beat us to the left. Maze is completed is to the center. Pac-Man moves to the right. You have your Pac-Man to the middle. There's five that light up. And of course your Pac-Maze, which is the Pac-Man directional, which will show you going through the maze to the safety zone, which is how you beat the game. Play field is what you would expect from a, from a high player's condition uh, Pac-Man machine. It's actually not too bad regarding the flow and the shots. It's open to the middle. You got your third flipper. So flow is somewhat there. It is blocked to the left and the right of the table. Theme is Pac-Man. Who doesn't like Pac-Man for God's sake? I mean, it's a, it's a classic. So theme and replayability, obviously Pac-Man is a great game. Uh, definitely fun to find on location or to own for yourself. But beyond that, definitely check out our review underneath the description of our YouTube video. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. Direction to the right. There we go. So direction to the right. But anyway, our, our our review will be in the description of the video with all of our measurements, all of our breakdowns for gameplay, replayability. The gameplay is there on this game. It's actually pretty fun. Replayability is actually there too. It's simple, but yet fun. Speed of the table's not there and not not too high on this game. It's actually quite slow. It bounces around, lofts a little bit more, and that's of course uh, pretty common with older solid state games from Golub, Valley, etc. etc. Let's go ahead and go right. So again, whenever that locks up, we're doing the directional maze. So the only way to get to that is to hit the coin button for a game, choose your direction and hit that to actually engage it. And that way you can try to get to your safety zone into the middle of the, uh, the play field. What the score of this game? Hmm. It's got a lot of cool little things to it. Obviously there's no soundtrack. Art is what you would expect off of an older Pac-Man uh, pinball machine. No call outs whatsoever, but you do have the Pac-Man music to the background of it. I mean, actually, for the age of this game, it's actually not a bad play. Of course, with older games, it's hard to compare an older game to a newer game. I mean, of course, it's way different. I mean, on this game for its age, I would definitely say that, you know, you're, you're rating this in the 8.7 range, Pac-Man, uh, Bally Pinball. So, again, 8.7 is what we're going to stick with for the game of its age. It's a fun 
one level play field that all will enjoy. But anyway, look for our description underneath the video. And beyond that, subscribe. Thank you again for watching today. Till next time, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy signing off.